Hi, my name is Yuan Li, and in this video, you will learn about how to perform chip ID reading using Avalon SD Mailbox IP in Argilex. This is the agenda for this video. Mailbox Avalon SD IP is an IP that provides communication channel between custom logic and SDM. Users will need to write their own logic to perform operations such as chip ID reading, temperature sensor reading, voltage sensor reading, and QSPY operation. Another thing to take note is that this IP is interfacing using Avalon SD interface instead of Avalon MM interface. Thus, it can be interfaced directly with host controller if it is using Avalon SD interface as well. This is a list of commands supported by this IP. Basically, the command available in this IP is the same as mailbox IP available in strike stand. For example, if you want to read flash device ID code, you need to write 10 hex value into the command code and zero to the length of the command header and so on for the other operation. You may refer to the user guide for more information about the command available. This is a command and respond header format. When you want to send command packet or receive respond packet, we need to follow the format as stated. For 24 bit to 27 bit, it is header ID. By default, it is zero hex. Then we need to specify the length. The length is depending on the command that we are going to use. For example, the length of command to read device ID code is zero. Then we need to put zero here. I will talk about the command with their respective length later. Lastly, we need to put command code or error code. Command code is the command that we are going to send and error code is the response that we get when we are receiving response packet. Remember that we have command or error code from bit 0 to bit 10 in response header format. This table shows the information for respective error code. For example, if you get one hex error, it means invalid command and so on. This is the timing diagram to send command packet using mailbox Avalon SD IP. When command ready asserts, we can assert both command value and command start of packet and then send command packet using command data interface. Command start of packet can be desert and command valid needs to be asserted until the end of command packet. When we have finished sending command packet using command data, we can assert command end of packet to indicate that the command packet ends at that particular cycle. This is the timing diagram to receive respond packet using mailbox Avalon SD IP. First of all, we need to assert respond ready when we want to read the respond packet. Then we can start to capture the respond data after the response start of packet is asserted and the response data during and before the response end of packet is asserted. When there's a problem in sending the command packet, probably due to incorrect command header format, we will need to reset the IP to restart the mailbox Avalon SD client IP. To do so, assert in reset after command status invalid is asserted. Then we may start to send command packet again when command ready is asserted. Now, I'm going to show you how to perform chip ID reading using Avalon SD mailbox IP in Argilex. This is a component available in the design. First of all, we have its system source and prop IP which will be used as an input to trigger chip ID reading. To perform chip ID reading, this IP will send command to custom logic. Then the custom logic will be interacting with the mailbox Avalon SD IP for chip ID reading. The design is available in the design store and will be shared with you guys shortly. Finally, we have SignalTap, which will be used to capture the response obtained from mailbox Avalon SD IP. Once in system source and prop IP triggers chip ID reading, the custom logic will send Avalon SD command packet by following the timing diagram as shown in the figure. When the command ready is asserted, the custom logic will assert command valid, command start of packet, command end of packet along with command data of 12 hex. Then, custom logic will receive the response. Once the response is ready, a synaptic will be used to observe the response obtained. For more information about the IP and the design, you may refer to the user guide and design example as shown in the link. Thanks for watching.